Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. So I am in Hanoi right now. It's the capital city of Vietnam and one of the most vibrant cities in the country. So uh, here's the deal. I am in Vietnam for 12 days out of which 3 days I am in Hanoi and the rest of the days I'll be traveling to other places in Vietnam like uh, Ninh Binh, Ha Long Bay, Da Nang, Hoi An and much more. But as of now I am in the old quarter. I am staying in the old quarter. It's a very charming and a very uh, lively neighborhood in Hanoi. So if you plan a visit to Hanoi definitely recommend staying in the old quarter because everything literally is walking distance from here and it's very very convenient. But uh, do your research because uh, the hotels on the website look much uh, bigger but in reality they're quite small. Um, so yeah, plan well and do your research but definitely stay in the old quarter. So anyway, I am really excited to be taking you along Vietnam and showing you this beautiful country through my lens. Also another thing, this is not a solo trip. I'm traveling with a very close friend of mine and I will just introduce you guys to her in a minute. Hi Mehek. Hey everyone, nice to meet you all. So I'm not just Bhanu's friend, she's made me her personal cameraman. <laughs> yeah, I'm really troubling uh, her with all. I'm one for sure, so she's really troubling me. But <laughs> do follow us, do follow her blog. Yeah, and you'll be seeing her a lot in my videos. Bye. See you. Enough talk, let's get going and see what this place is all about. So let me fill you in on this beautiful city. Hanoi is a bustling hub that has so much to offer and the old quarter is where all the action is. It's a charming and a beautiful neighborhood that truly captures the essence of Vietnamese culture. Now one of my favorite places in Hanoi is the Hoi An Kem Lake. It's a beautiful area where in the evenings you'll find people just walking around, strolling, jogging or simply just sitting by the lake and relaxing. I arrived in Hanoi yesterday and immediately went for a little walk around the city to get the feel of it and to soak in the city's atmosphere. The shopping scene here is fantastic, especially for art lovers like me. You'll find lots of unique pieces and souvenirs to take back home. Oh, and the coffee scene in Hanoi is pretty good. The city is famous for its coffee culture and there are countless cafes to try. Till the end of this vlog, I'll be showing you many such cool places and spots where you can hang in the city. So the best way to see Hanoi is to rent a scooty, but the traffic in the city is insane. So I have changed my mind and I've taken a cab. But uh, you all can rent a scooty, but keep in mind the traffic here is crazy. But if you plan on taking a cab, you can download Grab Cab. It's uh, very reasonable and very easily available. But make sure to have good internet connectivity because otherwise you won't be able to call for a cab. So definitely have your uh, internet in place. So this day was all about sightseeing and covering all the touristy spots. And our first stop was the famous Temple of Literature. It was actually built centuries ago and can you believe it served as Vietnam's first national university? Now inside the temple grounds, you'll find beautiful courtyards, traditional Vietnamese architecture and stunning gardens. The Temple of Literature is dedicated to Confucius, the great Chinese philosopher and his disciples. Back in the day, scholars and intellectuals used to flock here to study and take part in the royal exams. The main highlight is the impressive collection of stone stels with the names of scholars who actually passed the royal exams centuries ago. It's like stepping back in time and feeling the wisdom and knowledge that once filled these halls. All in all, the Temple of Literature has a huge cultural significance and it's a symbol of Vietnam's commitment to education and learning throughout history. So just got done with the Temple of Literature. It's a nice place if you want to learn more about the history and if you're into such things. 
but apart from that it's also a nice place to just walk around there are nice courtyards and nice lawns so definitely include this in your uh, to-do list in Hanoi but make sure the weather is nice because as of now it's very hot and humid and we are sweating so I'm gonna get out of here and go to our next stop Our next stop for the day was the Imperial Citadel of Thang Long. This place is a fascinating historical site in Hanoi that showcases the city's rich and ancient past. It was built over a thousand years ago and it served as the political center of Vietnam for many centuries. It also served as the residence of Vietnamese emperors. The site includes various structures, gardens and pavilions that were used for royal functions and ceremonies. Today, this place stands as a historical site and museum, attracting visitors from all around the world to learn about Vietnam's fascinating history. So Hanoi actually has a lot of history and there are a lot of tourist spots here. And uh, if you plan on visiting these historic places, make sure to have a guide with you because uh, English translation is very limited and you might not understand what you're seeing. So have a guide with you. Like you better plan your trip properly and make sure to come here like you know post September because then the weather is nicer. But anyway, enough sightseeing for the day. I am tired and I really want to go enjoy Hanoi, like really see what the city is all about. And uh, I mean the sightseeing part is of course very pretty and very nice, but now it's time to really go out, get some drinks. Um, after this, we are gonna go and get some lunch somewhere. There are many nice cafes in Hanoi, so we're gonna go find a nice vegetarian uh, cafe, get some nice food, and then head out and see the nightlife in Hanoi. sort of a thing they have a spa so we might just get a massage a nice massage after a good lunch and uh, I heard they have nice vegetarian and vegan options along with that they also have some non-veg options I mean I personally eat non-veg but uh, in Vietnam you have to be a little careful about the food scene because the, the hygiene levels aren't very great so I'm gonna avoid non-vegetarian here in this entire trip and stick to vegan and vegetarian options but having said that, the vegetarian food is kick ass. It is so nice. Like, my experience has been really good so far. I tried some really nice dishes. So, now we are going to see what we are ordering. I am really hungry. The breakfast scene wasn't very good at the hotel. So, I am starving right now, and I am sure Mehek, who is shooting this vlog for me, is also fed up of taking videos. <laughs> so, both of us are literally like fed up. We are not going to be And uh, so, I really want to go and chill. very satisfying meal at Gather Cafe. Um, I link the location of this place in the description below. So basically this area is called uh, Te Ho District. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly but yes. You can you spell it as T-A-Y Te and Ho H-O. So this district has a lot of uh, bars and uh, cafes. So do definitely check it out if you're in Hanoi. Our last and final stop for the day was Trang Quoc Pagoda which is one of the oldest temples in Hanoi and you will find it near the West Lake. It's a Buddhist temple and is dedicated to Lord Buddha. 
So Buddhism is one of the major religions in Vietnam and this place holds a special place in the heart of many Vietnamese Buddhists. I could actually feel the peaceful vibes as soon as I stepped inside. The temple is surrounded by pretty lotus ponds making the whole place look even more serene. Photography was not allowed inside so unfortunately I couldn't capture as many videos as I wanted to but you know what sometimes it's nice to immerse yourself in the moment and just soak in the beauty without the distraction of cameras and phones. So that was uh, Trangkok Pagoda. Now Pagoda means temple and there are many pagodas, many temples in Hanoi and uh, apparently this was uh, a very famous one and a lot of people had recommended going here. But honestly like uh, all the temples are pretty similar so even if you just go to one you'll get an idea of how the temples here are so there is there's no need to literally go to every temple um, but uh, but yes definitely go and see how different their gods are and what god they worship and how things work here you can go to one and see so finally we are back in our uh, hotel room kafi tiring day tha so I had a list of things that I wanted to do today but I couldn't do anything because uh, obviously like, you can't squeeze in too many things in one day plus it was so hot so but anyway I managed uh, covering 2-3 places out of my list but I still have a lot of other things to cover which I think I'll do tomorrow or day after I'm here for another 2 days so now I want to stop vlogging and I want to keep my phone and my camera aside and just enjoy because until now this whole day has only been about shooting things for my vlog but uh, enough now i really want to get out and see what the nightlife is like because that's what you guys must be interested in right now it's 5 30 in the evening and uh, we'll be heading out by like 7 30 or 8 so we still have some time to rest up so thodi there we will chill in the room get our coffees and our green teas and just relax for a bit If you plan a trip on coming to, if you plan on, I'm dead. You can tell. What was Cut. I like mix of both. Came late and oh yeah, yeah, tried to. But honestly, like all the temples, all the download.